Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rock. I think this is a long-awaited video since I released my Rock devlog. Rock was the game engine I created in Vulkan, and in this series I'm going to show you how I created it step by step. So get your coffee ready, let's begin. Now, if I clone my latest Rock repo, open the solution, build and run it, you can see it all works out of the box. There's no additional setup required and all dependencies are included. In this tutorial, I will be using C++17 in Visual Studio 2022 on Windows. Now, the first thing we need to do is download the Vulkan SDK from the Luna G website. I'll be downloading the latest at the time, which is currently 1.4.321.1. Of course, if you're working on a Mac or Linux, download the corresponding SDK. To test Vulkan is working correctly, I'll go to the bin folder and run vkcube.exe which should give the following result. Next up we're going to download glfw and glm which are two libraries we need. glfw manages windows and contexts and glm is a maths library. Now we're going to set up our Visual Studio environment. I create a new empty project, which I'll call Rock Tutorial. In this solution, I'll create a new project called Renderer, and then I'll remove the current Rock Tutorial project. Here I create a new folder in the solution directory called dependencies where I'll store these libraries. From the glfw folder we want the include as well as the 2022 Visual Studio libraries. And then we just copy the library file. To test this is working, I'll create a simple hello world in C++ and run it. And the output is in the console as expected. Let's go. Now we're just going to copy the glm folder into our dependencies. Although we've added the libraries to a dependency folder, we need to check they're included with the project and spoiler alert, they're not. I'll copy this code which you can find on the glfw official documentation. Then we just need to change a few project settings. You can do that with Alt Enter with the project selected or right click and it should be at the bottom labeled Properties. Now for these changes you want to make sure that you have all configurations and all platforms selected. I'm also going to change the C++ language standard to C++17. If you go to C++ general additional include directories, here we need to add Vulkan and glfw. If we go to linker general additional library directories, here we need to add Vulkan and glfw as well. And then in linker input additional dependencies, we're going to add vulkan1.lib and glfw3.lib, which the project should now be able to find. If I run this now, it should all be working and you'll have your first Vulkan window. Very cool. To store our progress, I'm going to create a GitHub repository called Rock Tutorial a renderer for Windows using the Vulkan Graphics API. The repository is private, but you can get access by subscribing on Patreon. 
Speaking of which, thank you so much to my current patrons. Without you, I wouldn't be able to continue working on my dream, which is game development. Now, I never said that Rocky is a complete product, and that's because it isn't. After I've completed this tutorial series, I'm going to continue working on it, implementing new features and improvements, until I can make a game in it that I'm proud of. Now, don't get me wrong, the game I did make for it was okay at best, but I was very time limited and now there's no deadlines, only the motivation to keep on improving. You can follow me for updates on my Discord, my Twitter, Insta, Patreon, Coffee. Facebook, no I'm kidding, who uses Facebook anymore? You can find the links on my website and all links will also be in the description below. This also includes the links to GLM and GLFW. I'm sorry it was such a short video this week, but next week we'll be taking the first steps to get a triangle on the screen in Vulcan. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!